In June 1931, Dr. Bach was staying in southeast England, near the Sussex town of Lewis. He went searching for a new remedy plant, water violet. This was for a friend of his who was typical of this type, self-sufficient, isolated and reluctant to become involved in the pressures and strains of ordinary life. Such people, he said, work with the themes of joy and grief. Water violet enjoy loneliness. A very reserved, aloof kind of person who is very gentle and very peaceful to have around. They enjoy their own company, they're very brave by nature, but their uh, negativity is this pride. The water violet is uh, rather critical of um, the other human beings because they feel, in a way, superior to them. They don't interfere with other people, they merely think it. And therefore, in this way, they keep themselves apart. For most of the year, it is submerged. Only in May and June do the stems rise clear of the water, straight and elegant. It has only the slightest contact with the earth. Frail roots which trail in the water have no anchor to the land. When it is flowering, water violet is so open and straightforward in character, the calm assurance of an unemotional understanding. These flowers lead their lives with precision, clarity and purpose.